Hello, Answerly viewers, and yeah, thanks a lot, Haley. Let's talk about Black Friday a week after it happened. Actually, I found a way to make it relevant because today I'm gonna talk to you about buyer's remorse. If you did any shopping at all on Black Friday or on Cyber Monday, enough time has passed to where you might be feeling a little bit of buyer's remorse. That's because when you see these crazy deals and entire websites that are 50% off, how can you not buy stuff? All those insane low, low prices can really make us lose sight of what we actually want and need. After that thrill of getting things at such a cheap price goes away, you're just left with the crappy doorbuster you got when you push seven people out of your way to get it. So you got a dumb coffee maker for $6.99. Do you even drink coffee? Do you really need an electronic picture frame? Do you wait in line in the middle of the night in the freezing cold to get all this junk? We can laugh at each other all we want, but if those purchases are keeping you up at night, that's kind of a problem. That sweater that you accidentally bought in an extra small because the crowds around you were so distracting that you weren't even looking at sizes, and now it's sitting in your dresser just laughing at you. Or the new flat screen TV that you thought you had to have because, oh my god, it was 60% off and now it's just sitting in your living room haunting you and your empty wallet. I found it really interesting to find out that the National Retail Federation anticipates that each year after Black Friday, stores will lose 10% of the income they made to returns and exchanges. There are lots of people out there suffering buyer's remorse, clearly. And those people are trying desperately to return and exchange all that stuff that they had to have a week ago. It's not always that easy though. There are a lot of stores out there that actually plan ahead for this kind of thing by making their return process so ridiculously tedious that it's a nightmare. Or they make it so that you can't make returns at all unless you got a gift receipt. I guess the only advice that I can give you is that if you do have something to return, be persistent because a lot of people out there just give up and then they're stuck with the crap that they got. And remember to always get gift receipts, even if it's not a gift, it just makes it easier to return. I know that this shopping nonsense can be hard to ignore when all of your favorite sites are offering crazy site-wide deals, or even if the Black Friday shopping trip is a tradition in your family. But in the future, when we go through all of this again, Right now, think about how you can learn from your mistakes or from the mistakes of other people. Try to focus on the things that you really need. There are a lot of really stupid deals out there that are meant to trick you into buying things that you don't want, but there are sites that legitimately have cool things on sale. And if you can find those things without being distracted by the dumb doorbusters or whatever, then you can actually get a lot of your Christmas shopping done for a lot cheaper than you would be able to otherwise. Let me know in the comments below if you are suffering buyer's remorse this year. And if you're not, let me know about the silliest doorbuster deals you heard about this year. Until next time, it's game over. Not all of them obviously advertise this fact, but there are way more celebrities out there getting their geek on than you might realize.